Eh, chef, puro sweets naman po ang ginagawa natin pambenta at pangregalo. Paano naman po yung gusto naman medyo savory? So today, let's spread the love by creating delicious spreads na napakasarap ibenta, ipangregalo, or simply ihanda at kainin ngayong darating na holiday season or if you want to make any day special. So gumawa tayo ngayon first, chicken salad spread and four cheese pimiento spread. So let's start here. In my mixing bowl, I have here one kilo of chicken breast filet that I've ordered from Fresh Options. Pinakuloan namin for around 5 to 6 minutes in water with a bit of salt and nung naluto at lumamig, hinimay-himay namin. So eto na yun. Okay? You can prepare this in advance actually. And then, napakabilis lang po nitong gawin. So first, you put pimientos, mga half a cup, chopped pimientos, red onions, mas pungent po kasi ang red onions, so we're putting red onions, pickles, yung tad-tad na pickles, you put good mayonnaise, Cream cheese. So, yung cream cheese has to be at room temperature. Kung malamig yung cream cheese, ipasok mo saglit sa microwave para medyo lumambot. And then, you put around 2 tablespoons of good condensed milk. If you want it sweeter, pwede mo pang dagdagan. I put a bit of hot sauce, konting hot sauce, to balance the the flavor and a bit of white vinegar just a splash of white vinegar I have here salt and pepper pero to taste na yan so hahaluin ko muna to ilagay mo lahat ng ingredients and then haluin mo lang sila pag samasamahin mo this is very delicious pwede mong ibote later I'll show you mga packaging uh, tips Blend them all together. Chef, yung pong, yung pong ginagawa po ng, oh let's say, ng mother-in-law ko, meron pong pasas. Yung pong napanood ko, meron pong cranberry. Alam mo, ihulog mo lahat dyan ang gusto mong ihulog. Basta magiging masaya ka, you can put raisins, ihulog mo yung raisins dyan. Cranberries, ihulog mo yung cranberries. Walnuts, ihulog mo yung walnuts huwag ka lang mahuhulog sa maling tao. O, oh, ba? Ganun lang yon. Kung sa anong makakapagpasaya sa'yo, ihulog mo dyan. Sa totoo lang. Because anyway, this is your chicken salad. Yung iba nga, they actually put apples. Ang problema lang sa apples is, nagdi-discolor. Shorter ang shelf life. So, ayan na, makikita mo, no? It's very creamy like this. Do not overmix it. Kasi pag na-overmix mo, masyado naman siyang magiging yung parang uh, mushy. You put some black pepper and a little bit of salt. Okay? Some tips. Kailangan lahat ng gagamitin mong ingredients dito has cooled down. Especially the chicken. Do not use the chicken while it's still warm kasi it will produce moisture and may chance na mabilis masira yung iyong chicken spread. So I'm going to put this inside the fridge. Well, of course, syempre alam ko sasabihin, bakit hindi mo tinikman? O so tikman natin. Hindi ko makita yung kutsara. Let's just use this. Ang layo kasi nung kutsara. Okay? Kung ano yung malapit sa'yo, kung ano yung accessible, yun ang piliin mo. It's good. So I'm going to put this inside the fridge. But of course, before you put it inside the fridge, you need to cover it. So I'm going to get cling wrap. <clears throat> to prevent 
cross contamination takpan mo and when you cover items like this wag mong takpan ng ganyan i cover it directly onto the surface para hindi magform ng moisture yung condensation yun nagtutubig to big kasi pag nangyari yon matutuluan ng moisture yung iyong spread mabilis yon masisira or mapapanis Ayaw ko po gumamit ng plastic. You can use parchment paper or wax paper to cover it. So this goes inside the fridge and then I'm going to show you later the packaging tips. So now, let's prepare another favorite. This is four cheese pimiento spread. Ay nako, chef, ang dami namang klase ng cheese niyan. Apat-apat pa. Baka naman mahilo na kami sa kahanap ng cheese. Don't worry. Kung gusto mo, dalawang klase lang ng cheese. Yung keso de bola, paltan mo ng cream cheese or gawin mo ding processed cheese, nasa sa'yo yan, okay? Basta punuin mo ng cheese at punuin mo ng pagmamahal ang iyong spread. So we start with half a cup of good mayonnaise. Pagsasamasamahin mo lang lahat yan sa iyong mixing bowl. One cup of cream cheese. Pag bumili ka ng cream cheese na nakaganito, this is already one cup. Hindi mo na kailangan niyang sukatin pa sa measuring cup. One cup of grated queso de bola. One cup of grated processed cheese. Yung mga nabibili mo sa supermarket na cheese. Kung anong brand man ang type mo, yun ang bilihin mo. Half a cup of grated parmesan cheese. Ayaw ko po yan. O, palta mo ng processed cheese. Ayaw ko po ng cream cheese. Gawin mo ding processed cheese. No problem. Good butter. You put around half a cup to three-fourth cup of good butter. This is salted butter, of course. Para talagang malasa. So, that's around three-fourth cup. And then you put condensed milk, 2 to 4 tablespoons. Kung gusto mong medyo mas matamis-tamis, you can add more condensed milk. So I'm going to mix this first before I put the pimientos. So I'm going to use a hand mixer. Low speed muna. going to break the cream cheese. So we just beat it until it's very smooth and fluffy. Okay. And now I'm going to turn off the mixer. I'm just going to put a pinch of cayenne pepper. No, hindi naman para magkaroon ng anghang, but just a kick, no? Kasi again, the acidity of your peppers, yan yung nagka-cut through dun sa umay ng mga creamy dishes. Not necessarily to make the dish spicy, pero pangbawas or pantanggal lang ng umay. So I mix it again. And then I'm going to put my chopped pimientos. And then I mix it again. So, katulad ng mga baked products mo, itong spread, mas masarap din ito the following day. Ipahinga mo sa ref. Because resting it inside the fridge will let all the essential oils of your cheeses, of your milk, to uh, combine together and to intensify. Kaya, syempre, ngayon, masarap na yan. Pero mas masarap yan kinabukasan. If you want to put more pimientos, pwede mo pang dagdagan ng additional. So, this is your four cheese pimiento spread or kung gusto mong three cheese. Two cheese, gusto mo going five cheese, kung saan ka masaya. So next, I'm going to show you how to properly pack it. 
So to properly pack your delicious spreads, you have many options. So of course, the most popular is pwede mong ilagay yan sa microwavable container. Diba? Cheese pimiento. Kung pambenta mo, pang regalo mo, yan, pwede mong ilagay sa ganito. And then of course, after putting it into the container, itap mo. Okay? Para compact. And then, put the cover. And ano ang pinaka-importante tip na binibigay ko sa inyo? Kailangan may label. <laughs> diba? So, you put your label on top. Ayaw niya matanggal. Okay. So, this is for cheese pimiento. You put it there, diba? Pag nagpagawa ko ng label, yung ganyang blank, and then sinusulatan ko para talagang personalized, mas homemade yung dating. And of course, if you want it more sophisticated, pwede mong ilagay yan sa mga boteng ganito. So, when you buy your bottle, make sure to wash it thoroughly with soap and water. Tapos, tuyuin mong mabuti. Kailangan ang loob niya is talagang tuyong-tuyo. Walang maiiwan na tubig or moisture para maiwasan yung mabilis na pagkasira ng iyong spread. And make sure no, that everything is well sanitized, including your hands. So, kung magbabalot ka na, mag-alcohol ka talaga ng todo-todo. No, to make sure na walang cross-contamination na mangyayari sa iyong bottling. No, especially this one is a dairy product. So next, kumuha ka ng piping bag and then ilagay mo dito yung iyong spread. So now I'm doing the cheese pimiento. Ginagawa natin tong technique na to para siguradong malinis yung iyong bottle professional na professional ang dating nung iyong packaging. And then, gupitan mo lang, medyo malaki yung butas, and, ipipe mo papunta dun sa iyong bottle. Pagkatapos niyan, to make sure na hindi wala yung uh, tinatawag natin yung air bubbles na natatrap, meron kang gomang ganito, this is just ano ba tawag dito? Taktakan. Oh, diba? I forgot ko ano tawag dito. Ito yung nilalagyan mo para hindi mainitan yung mesa. So, yan. Itaktak mo lang. And then, makikita mo, di ba? Flat na flat din yung ibabaw. Maybe you can add more pimientos. Kasi dito naman sa bahay, ayaw nila ng sobrang daming pimientos. But of course, this is your spread. Pwede mong dagdagan para mas madaming, di ba? Red, red Christmas effect. And then, you cover it. Idiretso mo na sa ref. Of course, you put the label. Ito yung tatagal yan sa ref, 1 to 2 weeks. Yung chicken, medyo mas maikli lang ang shelf life. 1 week. You put the label. And then, pwede din, lagyan mo ng keep refrigerated. O, ba? Diba? So, this is your chicken spread. Ganon din ang kanyang uh, way of packaging it. Pwede mong ilagay sa boteng ganito, pwede mong ilagay sa microwavable, or kung pangkain nyo lang sa bahay, saan ba natin talaga nilalagay yan? Eh di doon sa bote ng mayonnaise na nagamit. O di ba? Akala mo mayonnaise ang laman. Pagbukas mo, cheese pimiento pala. Di ba? Mas bongga. So now, let's try it with the cracker. You can put it with pandesal also. So this is your... Cheese pimiento. Mm. Yung balance ng iba't ibang klaseng cheeses na ginamit natin, natanggal niya yung alat ng queso de bola, yung creaminess ng cream cheese, binabalance niya lahat. It's really, really good. But again, kung anong queso gusto mong gamitin, pwede mong gamitin yun. This is the chicken spread. Mm. You want to turn it into a bundle? You can do with cheesy chicken spread. O di ba, why not? Pwede mong pagsamahin yan. Bundle. 
Mm. It's really good. Kahit hindi Pasko, napakasarap niyang pang snack, pang regalo, pang benta. So, gumawa ka na and I look forward to seeing your spreads and or seeing you spread the love Aww. through this spreads. Keep safe and see you.